Hello everyone, uh, welcome to your own channel Civil Engineering X. Today we are going to be learning about how to model and analyze a simple residential building of a municipal drawing. So, at first uh, you need to open your ETAPS folder. Uh, my ETAPS is a version 18. You can open the version, any version you like. Also, you need to open a residential. AutoCAD building simultaneously now let's start at first uh, go to the file and then new model In this model it is initialization, go to the use inbuilt setting with display unit metric SI, Eastern section database is Indian, Eastern design code is uh, IS800-2000 and concrete design code is IS456-2000 and OK. After doing that uh, you can simply discard this, simply press OK and then You need to obtain this uh, center to center dimension of between the columns. So, in this case, we have 10 feet 5 inch, 10 feet 5 inch, 7 feet 7 inch, and in the y direction, we have 12 feet 5 feet and 12 feet. It's taking a bit time. The two screens will pop up in front of you. One will be showing plan and elevation drawing, whereas other will be showing a 3D drawing of your model. <coughs> well, after this, uh, we need to go to the define section and define the properties. So. At first go to the define and then material properties, add new material, reason is India, material type is concrete and then we are going to design our beam and column of YAM20 and other uh, concreting quantities will be done in YAM20 so great YAM20 ok. All these will be in default so no need to change any of this so simply press ok again add new material after concrete uh, we can go for rebar and uh, if you are working with uh, tori steel then you can simply choose SYST grade 415 and if there is TMT then you can simply use SYST grade 500 I am using our reinforcement of grade 500 so ok ok Again, go to the define section and then we are going to design a section properties, frame section and then go to delete multiple properties and then select all, delete, ok. Now add new property, uh, if you have a column of circular shape or any other shape you can simply choose from that. Uh, in our case it's rectangular so I am going to choose concrete rectangular. And then you can simply name the property as column material is m20 dimension is 12 inch so you can simply write 12 inch and it will automatically get converted into mm and after doing this you need to go for modifier so rebar and then you need to check if it's checked in beam or column in our case we are designing a column so it's okay and then longitudinal bar of HIST 500, HIST 500. Uh, if you are going to check the building you can simply tick on reinforcement to be checked or in case you can simply do the reinforcement to be designed in our case. Uh, for the symmetrical purpose I am going to 
make it 3 and the corner bar I am using is of 16 mm and then other bar is 12 mm and then I am using the stirrups of 8 mm and then okay okay now you can simply delete this property after that uh, I am going to make a tie beam TIE tie beam material is M20 uh, and a depth of 9 inch to 9 inch of tie beam modifier sorry bar you can simply check it at beam you can simply calculate this distance uh, from the center to the top bar so uh, it's generally 32.5 and then okay okay again we need to make upper beam so add new property beam depth of 14 inch and width of 9 inch go to modifier sorry bar the process is similar okay uh, you have noticed one thing that in case of column the reinforcement will be shown here and in case of uh, beam the reinforcement won't be shown here so you can simply check whether uh, the tick mark you have done is right or wrong from this figure also so okay uh, if you have share wall or any other concrete related properties then you can simply place it here for now it's enough so okay again after defining uh, frame uh, we need to define our slab section we can delete plank and then for slab and go to modify also property I will write only slab slab material is M20 and then thickness is 5 inch which is 125 mm okay okay uh, we have simply defined a frame slab okay now then again go to define and then go to diaphragm uh, diaphragm will depend upon okay i will show you it will depend upon the number of uh, joints in the elevation in our case it's uh, one two three four and five so add new diaphragm up to five okay again after defining the diaphragm go to load pattern uh, in this case uh, we should learn about what are the loads uh, that we are going to impose on the building so in our case uh, the dead load it's uh, the load due to self weight so it will be one and all other will be zero dead load live load now wall load wall load and then floor finish it's a zero dead load live load wall load floor finish and uh, staircase load staircase load load and simply eqx for the earthquake load you need to change the date to seismic and then here is is add new load again i am going to make eqy add new load 
Now go to EQX and then modify lateral load. Uncheck all these on Y direction. Y direction and then time period user defined and then time period you can simply uh, go to check uh, the total height of the building using the pair of it is uh, 39 feet 6 inch 39 feet 6 inch so the formula for time period is 0 0.075 multiple yes means 39 feet 6 inch you need to convert that into uh, meter so you can simply go to the calculator on your mobile 39.5 into 0 0.3048 12.039 into 12.039 to the power 0 0.75 0 0.075 into s, s to the power 0 0.75 is the desired formula so you need to place it and then press enter 0 0.4847 0.48 is our time period so okay and again go to the y and then modify lateral load uncheck all in x direction user defined 0.48 is our desired time period of our building and all other will be uh, default or you can simply change as per the need of your building so okay Okay. Again, after uh, defining the load pattern, you need to go to load combination, add default design combos, concrete frame design, okay, and then the default load combination will be in a screen, and then simply type okay. After that, again go to define section and then go to uh, mass source modify mass source uncheck this elemental self mass and then check to the specified load pattern and then keep on adding live load is 0.25 live load is categorized as live load less than 3 and live load greater than 3 in our case live load will be less than 3 so 0.25 wall load it's uh, 1 floor finish staircase uh, if you need to add water tank load or any other load that you feel it's uh, missing then you can simply go to the load pattern and then you can add the load here uh, we do not uh, we should not uh, uh, be adding the earthquake load in case of this mass source data so okay okay doing these things uh, our defining section has been completed uh, after defining these things i hope uh, you can simply uh, use only these uh, things that i have done in order to simply design a uh, residential building modeling so uh, in this video we will be wrap up uh, we will wrap up our video just uh, by learning how to use some of the defining portions in our simple residential building uh, for the modeling portion we will be going i will be making next video in part two so i think uh, let's wrap up my video i hope uh, it has helped you a lot uh, if you have any queries about uh, the defining section then you can simply uh, comment below and i will be there helping you each and every time. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.